there are a lot of trading strategies and one of the fundamental challenges with looking for a trading strategy is you end up getting something which is sitting right on the internet and that might or might not work for you. However, in this video, what I'll do is I'll walk through a simple trading strategy which has some indicators. There's a little bit of backtesting code. There's a little bit of visualization and it should give you an end to end picture of how strategy looks like. This is a strategy which you can use, you know, from a very starting point like 10,000 rupees. So the intent is to explain how can you build strategies that can help you start small. This buy in no means is a strategy recommendation or a buy sell recommendation. The example that's being used in this video is just to simulate the whole idea. In fact, I'll show you the loopholes that are within this strategy. So stick till the very end. All of the code that's shared in this video will be posted in the member community for members. So if you're not a member, do join that. You get access to all the code that I have ever shared on this YouTube channel and as well as a lot of analysis, a lot of member specific content is going to get promoted. Let's dive in. So uh, the structure of this code is very, very simple. Uh, what, what we have is a simple trading strategy and you have a bunch of standard imports like I've always talked about you. You do Yahoo Finance, Pandas, NumPy, Matplotlib, Yahoo Finance for data, Pandas for well data frame operations, rows and columns, NumPy for numerical calculations, Matplotlib for visualization. Moving forward, so the get data function just gets the data. You give it a symbol start date end date. Matlab simple sense. You say that give me SBI and give me Yahoo Finance. Sorry, give me Reliance, give me ICICI Bank, whatever, and it'll get you the start date and end date data. Essentially, it fetches daily data. I am not getting into any options, any fast frequency. This is all end of the data. So simple. Second is an idea that can uh, tell you to calculate your own indicators. I've done a lot of videos about it. I'll post some of the links in the description as well as up. So the idea is you can calculate your own indicators uh, like a function calculate RSI here. However, I don't suggest doing that. Instead, you should use standard functions from libraries like TALib, which is a great library, it has everything under the sun that is required. So this is just an idea that I'm suggesting that you can do function based calculation, but you, in all practical purposes, you shouldn't. But if you're trying to derive a, a calculation, like you're trying to generate a custom, build a custom indicator, then it's a good idea to, you know, get into it and try and break down and all of that. So this is just a conceptual uh, thought. Uh, what I have is DEF, which is a way to define a function. You do calculate RSI, you specify the data and you have a period and on top of which RSI is calculated. RSI is a, you know, oscillator 0 to 100. Normal tendency, normal understanding is less than 30, greater than 70. In between, it's an average zone. If it's less than 30, it's undersold. If it's over than 70, oversold and things like that. But again, the interpretations are case dependent. Uh, I think different people use it in different ways. RSI is one of the most popular indicators. So I've included that. Next, what you do is, you know, you calculate the signals and this is where things get more uh, mean and deep. Uh, I'll try to explain through the code. Uh, so you have a function, you should have a function ideally which takes in data and it takes in a bunch of different parameters that uh, you are intending to base your strategy on. So it obviously needs the data. It needs the windows, long window, short window, uh, whatever else parameters you have. In this case, it's an RSI period, volume window, etc. So what I'm doing here is doing a little bit of calculation. Again, I'll reiterate the fact because I'm explaining the strategy. This is not a this is a trading strategy, but this is not a tradable strategy. Don't go and start to use this to make money uh, by all means look at the code break it down take out pieces of it and build your own strategy using it there are obviously much better ways of doing that and i'll talk about all such optimizations in the end i think don't want to interrupt the flow second is volume uh, so you look at averages like a lot of people do you look at volume and volume can be much more deeper conversation then RSI very very popular you can add much more things here you can add MACD different oscillators different indicators Bollinger bands double Bollinger bands and I've done some of videos about uh, these kind of techniques in previous do check out my playlists do subscribe to my channel if you have not please please put in comments if you want to see more comment of this content 
join the whatsapp community it's absolutely free no strings attached we have a great community people do answer queries so if you want to engage yourself gain an understanding in valuable discussions completely free please join that that's on whatsapp by the way then we are looking at volatility and volatility uh, we are using atr as a proxy now atr is average true range it's basically based off a couple of calculations high low high minus close then low minus close and then off shifting something and finally getting into an atr it's a derived data it's a very popular uh, indicator for proxy volatility if you're not aware of it do look it up and then i'm getting into a uh, signal generation i've added a little bit of comment again if you want access to it please look in the member community uh, the comments should give you indication of what's happening so there's four different signals that i'm working off now the idea of showing you four different signals is typically when you work with diff when you are trying to build a strategy right and you don't have a single indicator which helps you decide something so you have multiple signals multiple you know uh, buy sell directions coming into it right and you you take a look at that and then you apply that in a certain proportion so these are binary signals you can actually get into more complex conversations like probabilistic signals and directional signals and all of that so there's a moving average signal there's volume there's rsi volatility all of that are there 1 to minus 1 0 otherwise in case of rsi less than 30 greater than 70 as i was telling before and volatility is also uh, atr less than data AT, data atr rolling over a, a certain window then you combine the signals and the way you combine the signals has a significant meaning uh, it could depend on your stock universe for example you are operating of a small cap universe filters your volatility signal could be much more stronger uh, rsi could be stronger but if you are working off very strong uh, you know large cap things you might want to say just moving averages are fine volume signals are fine uh, not an indication just trying to suggest that uh, signals can be combined in a different way i'll show that again uh, variations then you take positions very very sim simple if the signals are greater than 0 0.2 or less than minus 0 0.2 you uh, take the buy and sell and then there's a little bit of debug information here primarily intended to uh, you know just putting some symbols out in case of errors let's quickly run this and then uh, yeah i finished through the first function which is the calculate signal the second function is backtesting so i'm submitting backtesting function as well and uh, backtesting function basically gives you strategy returns cumulative returns and equity curve or uh, you can add more parameters into it obviously there's no right or wrong way to do backtesting in fact there's a bunch of libraries around it there's backtrader backtrading.py and i've talked about a lot of them in my previous videos plotting plotting becomes a very uh, custom operation for this kind of use case i have generated a bunch of plots you can take example and inspiration from this but if you're not good at plotting uh, just go to chat gpt or claude ask it what you want to plot give it a you know your data your variable names and it will give you the plotting code uh, by the way that's what i've done in this so we have everything set so to recap what did we do we imported we we defined some libraries we defined some functions to get data Again, the showing of function is very uh, explicit. It's important to understand that you can do function-driven approach, not just hard-code it. So there's a couple of functions, one to get data, second to get uh, calculate RSI ink signals. Then you are calculating signals uh, over a bunch of things. Then you do backtesting. Backtesting can be, you know, multiple parameters. Here it's just data and initial capital. Uh, you know, I, do, I have not factored in something like commissions which could take away some of your profit so you can add that as well as an inspiration and plotting is very very personal so i'll finish the plot and uh, i'll show you some variation so main execution so here i'm running sbin.ns uh, 2020 to 23 initial capital simple 10000 rupees short window 21 long window 100 uh, rsi 7 volume window 20 the short window can be 21 the long window can be 50 completely on to you and again please wait i'll move on to that topic so you do that then you run all of these so you are getting equal number of not sorry not equal uh, you are getting four almost double the number of buy signals and sell signals uh, then you print the debug information the signal ranges are telling you that it's operating fine uh, then you print the value so the total return is 59 percent which is huge uh, drawdown is also crazy minus 43 percent this is a chart 
which is multi factor trading strategy uh, closing price buy sell short ma uh, signals are represented very hard to read it this is kind of a signal movement up and down uh, and then this is the equity curve now while this is profitable but here is where the caution and the clauses come around now let's play a little bit more into this right so i'll i'll show you how this things will vary so right now we are running at uh, 59% so if i go in and change a bunch of parameter let's say i make this 3 and i make this 2 and i make this 3 and i make this 2 so uh, again no logic but i was sitting at uh, what 59% let's see how much changes we get it increased 76% amazing even the drawdown reduced so and and you see the the slopes are much more decent so i am making probably much more money so the return is much better now however this you have to understand that this becomes very sensitive to these parameters now another parameter that it will be very sensitive is if i look at the start date so this is where everybody says past returns are not indicative of future performance i have done a bunch of videos around this monte carlo simulations go study them deep maths understand how future projections could work understand how forward walks could work and that could help you so let's say if i change this to 2022 ab dekhte hain ye mera pura 76% se uh, the whole strategy is going to start to crumble at 5% you know it's still profitable somehow uh, but the choppiness is very very clear right it's barely it's going up going down and all that so that's it's it's very important now for anybody who thinks here yeah, this is a great strategy for sbin it's not i'll show you more so let's go to reliance and let's go to this so we'll get reliance and reliance is minus 45% so you see the same strategy which was giving you uh, a great insight uh, a great profitability like 76% over sbin is is tanking your money to literally half or less than half again you go back and you play with your parameters so we go and make this let's say 4 3 2 2 1 okay and 4 3 2 1 there's a reason i'm running that uh, so we are minus 45 let's see what happens so it become little less minus 44 so i think by now you should have understood what i'm trying to explain right so depending on the parameter and depending on the way you write the equation of the signal uh, the strategy is very sensitive to that and that has to be determined that's very variable on couple of parameters here the time window of data you have looked so basically the strategy is only working within a certain time period maybe it's only working within a bull market or maybe it's working under a certain kind of uh, stock universe so that has to be explored second is this whole experiment or process of finding the right date finding the right set of parameters is too much fitting into the data there's a process called optimization for it and you can uh, find the best parameters given your stock universe so your strategy has to be lot there has to be more robustness uh, that's a little advanced concept from a, a forward walk perspective optimization perspective and this video is already like i'm seeing 13 14 minutes so we'll talk about that in the next video all right so if you have found this interesting agar aapko ye acha laga ki you can build trading strategies from 10000 rupees itna simple hai code karna uh, itna nahi hai simple you you will still have to learn a lot of concepts but essentially the idea that i'm trying to project here is you can code a lot of things you can find way to automate things you can find way to analyze things and if not execution of the trade you can get to a good degree of automation which can help you improve your investing improve your trading life all right so if you have learned a little bit from this video give me a thumbs up share my video to other people subscribe if you have not already join the membership channel if you think there's value join in whatsapp community there's definitely value and paise kamate raho chalo all right bye bye thank you guys